Hey guys, welcome back for another image manipulation video. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to take an image and flip half of it onto the other portion of the canvas. So this is going to be either a horizontal or a vertical flip. So let's get started. Let me open up JES. And let me save this file. Um, gotta save it in JES right here. Let's just call it flip.py, something like that. Okay, pretty good. So let's call this function um, horizontal flip. Oop, like that. Yeah, like this. And to flip an image, we will need a picture, of course. And I'm going to get variables for the width and the height. I'm fairly sure you guys know how to do this by now. Width height equals get width of what? The picture. And make sure you spell everything right. Height of a picture that and next what we want to do is we want to loop through uh, all the pixels in our image but we don't need to loop through all the pixels if we want to only mirror half of the image. I should have actually called this mirror. That's more accurate. So we're going to need a mirror point uh, or a mirror line if you want. And that line is going to represent um, where we're going to flip one side of the image to the next. So our mirror point is going to be equal to the width divided by 2. If you wanted to do a vertical flip, you'd put a height divided by 2, but let's start with width divided by 2. Okay, so now we're going to loop through the y coordinates. And we're still going to use all the, the y coordinates, so we don't need to do anything to those. So y in the x range of height while well, the x is a little different so for x in the range of 0 to the mirror point because as you'll see we don't need any pixels beyond the mirror point to actually do the mirroring so our current pixel at the moment is going to be equal to the pixel in um, hold on I should actually duplicate this picture just so we can return it at the end because I don't like changing the original picture um, let me just call it pick equals picture a picture. There you go. Sorry, I should have done this at the beginning. So this is just an exact copy of our picture up here. So we get pixel in our duplicated picture at X and Y. So say we have an image like this, it'll only loop through half of the image on the left side because we're only we're going up to the mirror point which is the width divided by two okay cool so let's get the color of that pixel because we're going to need to place the color of this pixel onto the other side of the canvas so get uh, color there she is current pixel and a little trick here is to get the target pixel. Now the target pixel is 
going to be the, the pixel on the, the right hand side of the screen. So on the right hand side of the screen of which picture? Well, our duplicated picture. And this is the, the part that's a little trickier. We wanted to get the coordinate in our picture at the width minus x minus 1. And what this will do is as we're approaching the left left side of the image, we're also approaching the right side of the image at equally the same rate. So um, say this line represents our uh, x coordinate of the image. Then we're approaching slowly this way, but at the same time, while we're at the fifth pixel, we'll also be at the fifth pixel on this side. So while we're getting y, we'd be getting a, what is it, a d. Okay, cool. So just look at this a bit, and you'll understand how it works. And don't forget to plug in y. So now we want to set the color of our target, oops, target pixel to the color of our current pixel. Okay, and I think that's it, and we can return picture. Um, okay, cool. Now, in the command area, we're going to load an image. So let's just call it P. So we're going to make a picture object. Make picture. Pick a file. Uh, yeah, I think this is all caps right there. Okay, good. So on the desktop. No, actually, my pictures are stored somewhere else. In my pictures, iPhone cases, because duh. Um, <laughs> okay, and we call our function is it mirror. Okay. So, um, flipped equal mirror, and hopefully we won't have any errors. Uh, looks good. So I'm just going to show the original P. And there it is. Okay, and let me show flipped. There you go. Okay, so this was the original picture and this is flipped. As you can see, our mirror point was straight through here because we looped from the pixels up to here and then we mapped them all on this side going this way. So that was pretty simple to do. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to take this picture again but instead of flipping it uh, from here onto this side, we're going to flip it from the top to the bottom. Okay. So let me just uh, copy most of this because we're not going to need it. Uh, mirror vertical. There we go. So this will all stay the same. We're still going to duplicate our picture, we're still going to get the width and height, but our mirror point is going to be different. It's going to be the height instead. And we're going to loop from 0 to the height, uh, sorry, to the mirror point, uh, mirror point, like that. And we're going to loop through all x. Um, and our current pixel um, is still going to be this, however, our target pixel is going to change. So this, if I recall, should be x, while this should be height minus y minus 1. Um, I'm just putting this minus 1 just in case so that we don't like grab a pixel outside um, outside the image. Um, I don't know if this is the case, but I'm not taking any chances. You guys can test that for yourself. Okay, cool.
So let's see if we can actually do a, a vertical mirror. Uh, vertical P and let's show flip awesome check it out our image has flipped vertically went from it took the pixels at the top here and mapped them down here and that's exactly what we wanted so let me do a short recap on all this so I don't think we've ever actually manipulated images this way we, we've only worked with the colors of the picture but it's been a while since I made a JS video so okay um, so we're defining a function called mirror vertical and it takes a picture as a parameter we duplicate this picture we get its width and its height by invoking the get width and get height methods we define our mirror point. Our mirror point is um, the location up to where we want to mirror the image. And in this case, it so happens to be on the Y plane, so we divide by height and not width. And we don't need this like that. And we're looping for Y up to the mirror point because we're restricting the y to the mirror point but we're not restricting the x because we want to use all of the, all of the x plane next we get our current pixel which is the pixel that we are at currently and the current pixels are only going to be half of the image because the target pixel is taking care of grabbing the image on the other portion of it. And then we're setting the color of the current pixel to the to the color of the target pixel. Uh no the other way around. We're setting the color of the target pixel to the color of the current pixel. There you go. And then we're returning our image and it's flipped and we're really happy. So that's all good. Um so guys thanks for watching and see you guys later.